Welcome. My name is William Messacar. I am a Master Model Railroader in the 4th Division of the Pacific Northwest Region of the National Model Railroad Association. And I want to welcome all of you to the virtual layout tour uh, we'll have presented today by members of the NMRA. Um, we would encourage you to find out uh, about the NMRA and join uh, in order to participate in these virtual tours. We have other virtual clinics and other activities for the National Model Railroad Association that we think you'll find uh, a big help to your modeling and you'll get to meet model railroaders just like you. So welcome to our tour and I hope you enjoy it. Well, let's see if I can take this thing over. So we'll do share screen. So anyway, welcome to the Boeing Employees Model Railroad Club. Our railroad is the Seattle and North Cascades. Uh, let me warn you, those who have uh, headsets on or your earplugs stuck in, this first couple of sides are pretty loud. But we'll give you an idea what an operating session looks like on our railroad. Not too bad. <laughs> good, I was good reminded question. of Benny Hill. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's a four hour session done in about 30 seconds. So sometimes we move pretty fast. Okay, our club, we were formed in 1980. We're part of the Boeing Recreation Program. Currently, we have about 50 members, but membership is tied to the Boeing employee or to Boeing employees or their families. A little more details on that at the end. Couldn't decide what railroad to model when we started, so said, hey, let's create our own railroad. Design of the layout. HO scale, double track main, about seven scale miles, five sidings. We have a branch line, which is about one scale mile. We're modeling Seattle to OMAC along what's uh, over the Cascades or what's now the North Cascade Highway. We got there before the state of Washington put it in. Like I say, it's double track. We uh, gain elevation without a helix, 2.7% grade with a horseshoe curve. We use DCC uh, NCE wireless. It's a steam to diesel transition period, but late 1959, we're stretching that steam out a little longer than most railroads. Point to point with the loops that we can have for open houses, which is what we'll show today. Turnouts are controlled by servos, which our members used uh, and designed the system. Uh, if you're interested in what those servos, uh, how they work, there is the June 2015 issue of the NMRE magazine has an article on it. And I believe we still have on our website the copies of that article. This is the uh, track plan. This is the lower level. See, see Seattle staging right here that is a hidden yard start the uh, lines that are in red are, are our classification yard and engine facility in everett the um, blue lines where it says alger and samish that is our branch line going out to the end of the line in fairhaven this was originally the Fairhaven Southern Railroad, which Great Northern absorbed, so we stole it from the Great Northern. Our upper level, you see the OMAC staging in the upper right. This shows the first drawings that uh, the club put together with uh, buildings that we are uh, intended to put in. Most of them are there. How did we build the railroad? Well, the club is uh, really had a core group of people who designed it and have built it. And out of those 50 members, uh, probably about 20% have done most of the work. We moved into this building, uh, which we share, or we, we are a member with the Pacific Northwest Railroad Archives in Burien. So we have half of the first floor. We started uh, building the layout in 2011. So you'll be able to see what our progress has been. We do use photos for our backdrop. Two or three of us in the club shoot the pictures, convert them and work them in Adobe Photoshop Elements, and then uh, have them printed at Costco. 
two feet by six foot panel. This shows uh, three of our members, Bill Messicar, you might know, he's helped organize these shows. Warren Costalucio in the middle and John Thompson on the right side. Warren did all the graphics uh, in the track plans, doing the design in Third Planet. And uh, a woodworker that he is, most of the uh, woodwork and bench work was put in by him. This just shows when we first started, uh, we tried to get track down pretty fast. So we were able to start running before we just had our plywood, just having plywood. This is one of our towns, concrete. Under the Seattle and North Cascade Railway, part of the Boeing Employees Model Railroad Club, located in Burien, Washington. We'll start off with an overall view of the layout. Uh, we're in the back workroom in the dispatcher's office using a whiteboard with uh, magnets and the engine numbers to track the routes of the trains. We're starting off in the back with our two staging yards. Seattle on the lower level, OMAC on the upper level. It's a point-to-point -point layout run. Walk around the room showing you just the general location of the layout and what it looks like. Then we'll come back and cover the individual routes. The layout's in a 24 by 50 foot room. The back uh, six feet of the room being our work session. Entrance to the building through these doors. It's a double deck layout, so you're seeing both levels. through the general portion of the room just to give you an idea of what it's like. Then we'll come back and cover each area, uh, the lower and upper individuals following the track plan. Backdrops are photographs that the club has worked on and put together through Adobe Photoshop. Except for one small area, the whole layout backdrop is photos. Looking at the uh, main classification yard on the lower level. A railroad is, uh, like I said, to Seattle and North Cascade, and where route covers the path over what is now the North Cascade Highway. We built there before the state did. Just working our way around, showing the far end of the layout room. Upper and lower areas. Going uh, into Edmonds past the uh, sawmill. A block of PFE reefers uh, that we are bringing uh, vegetables out of California to the Pacific Northwest.
point, it's leaving Edmonds, going behind what will be our engine facility, coming into Everett. The plywood there is uh, where the roundhouse and turntable will be. Double track thing. We still have to climb up on the layout to do the uh, photo installation and scenery on the upper level. But no signals on the layout yet, so everything is running as an extra with uh, train verbal train orders through radio in the dispatch. Going past the uh, park meat packing. Coming in the uh, Control area for the yard. Yards in Everett. Photo backdrop there is actually pictures of Delta Yard. We added the buildings in front to give us industries. Arrival departure number one with the caboose. And a couple of, well, Gone. Right now, our asking platform is out of service, so we won't stop and pick up ice. Going through the east end of the yard. Well, there's our passing tracks here. You stay in on the main passing track. Goes in to service the in the uh, coach yard at the Everett passenger station. As I mentioned earlier, we're still working on the layout. We still got a lot to do. So show to show you what we're doing. I left a lot of the items out like the wiring there at the passenger station showing how they're installing lights. They have the passenger station coach yard and starts into the grade. It's a town of Arlington in the background, still needs to be built. Starts up the grade. Going through Burlington. Starting to climb up into the Cascades. Through a, one of our long tunnels. He has a slow order on the bridge, five miles an hour. Highway bridge or highway tunnel through the mountain. Coming through the horseshoe curve. Picture of the uh, train on the upper grade, engines, lower grade, the caboose coming through. Like I said, for open house, we have a loop that we run. So this is the train making the loop, coming back down on the lower level through the uh, Everett passenger station.
Train going through uh, Everett Yard and then the industries in the east end of Everett in the backdrop. The combination of flat buildings and photos of the buildings on the backdrop. This is uh, what we call the Northern Pacific Junction. So hold through the layout, through the backdrop for continuous running for open houses. And it's one of our industries. Goes through on uh, one of the seven track loop tracks in the staging yard in Seattle and then comes back around. Now we're going to go to the details of each of the routes, lower, working our way out to the upper. We'll start in Seattle, work our way around, and end up back in OMAC. The uh, layout works on car cards and waybills, and we'll show you just the Seattle yard. The uh, hidden staging seven track yard for the run through on track one so we can run continuous loop for open houses, which is what we'll do later. Or we've already done. Leaving the yard, come out single track, transition into the main line, which is a double track main. First industry is Port Puget Recycling Plant. Photos that are up on the wall just showing how we're going to put in this next set of photos. Part of Edmonds, Washington. Next town, the town, uh, next industry in Edmonds is a uh, sawmill. Got logs coming in off the, the uh, mountain area where we're doing harvesting the logs. And this is the uh, outload for for the uh, cut lumber. And wood chip operation. Taking the uh, wood chips are going to Fairhaven for a paper mill. Photos are from the uh, actually photos from the paper mill are that's are. Sawmill is located in Everett, just off I-5. Got the sawmill, lock box, and our pond. Working our way around to a waterfront area, which is under construction. Can't finish that till we get the scenery done behind us. In Edmonds, in the waterfront area, there's also a steel processing plant. This area eventually will be our turntable roundhouse area. It's built, but can't install it till we finish our upper area scenery. In the back part of Edmonds, small part of our town. The engine facility. It's set up for steam diesel transition period, so we'll have both the diesel house and steam for the turntable. I mentioned earlier, this is under construction. So some areas are finished, some still got a lot of work to be done on them. I purposely showed you a, a wider view. Is a meat processing plant. So you, packing company. So that you can see areas that we're working on and how we've done our work. The NP junction, which leads back into our staging area so we can have a run around track for open house. Continuous running.
Come around to the tower controlling the entrance to the yard. We have a uh, seven track staking yard with two arrival departure tracks. And in the distance, small town, part of Everett. Yards located in Everett, Washington. We have an ice processing or uh, icing platform for reapers. The uh, platform has been removed for repairs, but it'll get put back in. With us down for this uh, coronavirus problem, we've been taking parts of our layout home and working on. We reached the uh, east end of the yard. Now the control tower controlling the interchange. All the industries in Everett. Drill tracks for the yard. And then we got the uh, east end of Everett and the passenger station in coach yard. It's a passenger station. I got leading in, similar like King Street Station. And here we got some of our coaches sitting in the coach yard. So we leave Everett, come to a town that hasn't been completed and just barely started is Arlington. In Arlington, we start up the grade. Leave in Arlington, the tunnel, we come to Burlington. Depot at Burlington, some mock-ups of it. the industries that will be in Burlington when we get those built. Got an interchange here going out to Anacortes for oil depot. Here comes the branch line going off. We'll come back and cover the branch line later. Now we're heading up the grade through a tunnel. Our way around, you're showing the bottom of the grade here. It is on the upper, the upper grade, but we'll track it around. Goes through a long tunnel. Some of the industries on the branch line. The bridges. Another tunnel, some of our mountain scenery. And working the way up the grade. You have an access hatch in that lake? Yeah, the lake drops down for access. It works off a piano hinge. Beautiful rock work. Coming into the town of Concrete. We model the towns along this path, but not necessarily all the industries that are in the towns. The town of Concrete. We have a cement plant here. Team track. Photograph in the background is from photo shot of the uh, High or Wellington area in the Great Northern, looking down from Highway 2. We're going to wait through Concrete. Next town we come to is Diablo. We've got a lot of coal operation in the Cascades. Ours is a little higher than the Puget Sound area. We got a three track yard with a coal mine. So, our long passing siding starts here. It's a center passing siding between the two mains. We have a turntable up at the top for 
servicing helper engines. We will run steam engine helpers, get them up to the top of the grade, and turn them and get them back down for the next train. Got a little memorial park here, honoring some old GN Z1 electric. Continue on over, the next town we come to is Mazama. Mazama is a farming area. We've got grain elevators. We're loading out grain cars. And also we have loadouts for sheep and cattle that have been grazed in the upper pastures. Let's leave Mazama. That's in the farming areas. We come into West Winthrop, farming area, apple orchards. Here we also have a, the Great Northern Interchange behind the uh, tower and the bridge. Is that access back and into the Omax staging yard? Staging for running uh, loops in the, uh, for an open house. Some industries in uh, Winthrop. And since this is a farming area producing apples, we got a uh, box factory producing their back, boxing the apples up to send them out. A lot of reaper action for the apples. The uh, depot for the town of Winthrop. East end of Winthrop, got a, uh, the bus station for the town. Signals controlling the interchange. A winery. Oil. And cement distribution plant. The track in the background is the track going up to Twist for the logging area. Cover that later. And we did. Then we have a road access up to the logging area. At this point, we go into tunnels. We have a little peekaboo tunnel set up so you can see the trains going through. With the uh, rock work covering the tunnel. is the turnout that controls and goes into from the double track to single track leading into OMAC. Signal controlling the uh, six tracks or seven tracks for OMAC. This is one of our control panels for access into OMAC, seven tracks. And we've completed our run. Across the bridge and then into the town of Fairhaven. Covering the end of the branch line. Western Machine and Tool. Icing platform for the brewery. Passenger station. Fuel and coal distribution, and a turntable to turn our engines as they make the end of the run. This is a end of line track; doesn't go anyplace else except for Fairhaven. Small uh, engine facility. At the end of the track, then we go into the paper mill in Fairhaven. Still need some electrical work. Paper our, going out of here in box cars, wood chips coming in. Our paper mill isn't as big as Joe's. 
This is more of the craft mill. And that puts us back by the front door. So little detail shots of concrete in the cement plant. Concrete. The cement plant. Drone view. Gives you an idea where the houses are back there, how we blend in the 3D and the 2D uh, scenery to the photo. In our operating session, we'd be running an empty coal train out of Seattle up to Diablo to load. For this particular run, I had not removed the coal load, so we're going to take a, a virtual empty coal train up to Diablo. Well, this run will give you a little more different perspective of the layout. In this case, we're looking down the aisle way to the back of the layout where we have the staging yards and our work area. When we had the design of the layout completed, we uh, decided we had to work on different areas. So uh, different members uh, picked an area to work on, divided into scenery areas, like the sawmill, the paper mill, coal mine. So different members were in charge and then other members helped them complete and build it. Like the sawmill, I think we got five different people working on the sawmill. The branch line with the rock quarry on the branch line. The branch line, we're getting limestone to go up to the cement plant and then the coal mine uh, that services the uh, coal for our steam engines. Coal train coming up to the top of the grade, ready to enter into concrete. Different view of the coal mine.
honestly, we did not plan this to have uh, Joe show us lumber uh, back in CNO territory and Byron to show us coal back here in the Northwest. <laughs> yeah, we had to have some uh, minerals being taken out of here. We have coal and ore, which we had in this region. So this operation, the train would go back to Seattle, so we got to turn our engines. It's only room for two of the three diesels on the turntable, so the uh, the rear B unit was set on a, a stub track and will be picked up. We'll get ready to start back. For those who have the headphones on, the next video is going to be a little loud, so in case you want to turn them down, it's going to be a different perspective of the layout. Inside our long tunnel. There's a Sasquatch you saw on the right side there. Starting through the horseshoe curve. She's better perspective or a different perspective on the layout this way. There's that re reefer train we saw earlier. We're going uphill at this point. Now we're covering the branch line starting at Samish Junction through a short tunnel and into the town of Samish. The depot on the right. We're looking at the back side of the of the town. Coal mine that takes coal for our steam engines. Next, we're going to be going through this cut and then across our high trestle, which uh, one of our members built is uh, idea using the trestle in Bellevue. Through a short tunnel into Fairhaven. On the right side is the uh, sawmill where we started one of the runs earlier. The icing platform for the brewery. Going to go into the paper mill and paper mills fenced off. So we need the gatekeeper to open up the gate for us. This is one area here in Fairhaven that still needs the photo backdrop installed. Using uh, photos of the paper mill in Tacoma. I saw a Sasquatch. Pick up a load of the crap paper. Whoa, a little hard bump there. Now we're going to come down a different section of the Fairhaven.
they're the industry one of the industries passenger station freight station Okay, that completes the video. Let's see if I can get back to that PowerPoint presentation. The camera train was a, a GoPro. It's been put onto a um, Hot Wheels that's been modified for rail traffic. It's a little loud, so we could try to come up with a way to improve that. But it was, I thought, pretty good sound and a different, I mean, a perspective of what the layout looks like. There's the GoPro camera. You probably didn't see it. It's mounted on a um, Hot Wheels that's been converted uh, so it'll run on tracks. Anyway, one of the slides showing that we're at Pacific Northwest Railroad. We are modeling forest product industries, uh, saw, the logging, sawmill, paper mill, wood chips moving cement plant, coal and ore mines. We have varying sessions one or, once or twice a month. Of course, we're not now because of the uh, virus, but we'll get back to it someday, maybe five people at a time. Car cards, way bills, and we run different, uh, I call them unit trains in the 50s. They wouldn't have been there. It's been blocked trains of coal, reefers, grain. Plans for our future. We're going to finish all of the track work on the two areas that still have to be developed. Finish the last uh, section of the photo backdrops, more details. We do want to put signaling in and I uh, hope to put in a JMRI panel pro for dispatching. Lessons learned. The towns and the layout are too close together. We'd like to have them further apart, but then we would have hampered our operation. It would have taken stuff too much out, but what we have is good for operation. And we want to continue uh, to get the last photos in and the town's finished in more details. A little uh, promotion for our club. We are the Boeing Employees Model Railroad Club, so we're part of the Boeing Recreation Program. Membership is open to Boeing employees, retirees, customers of Boeing, and also the family or just dependents. So if you have a a relative who's worked at Boeing, or you've worked at Boeing for one day or more, you are eligible. We, we need more members. So there's our website you can go to. And here's a little finish uh, shot. We have uh, GN has uh, trackage rights on our layout. So we'll get a little bit of steam engine running here for you. Questions. I see one of the questions that popped up, uh, what's the backdrop photo support material? Uh, the uh, backdrop was put up with uh, masonite or hardboard. And then the photos are uh, wallpaper pasted to the masonite. So that's the last of the presentation. Hello again. Um, this is a, another reminder that this uh, virtual layout tour has been brought to you by members of the 4th Division of the Pacific Northwest Region of the National Model Railroad Association. And we hope you've enjoyed it, and we want to encourage you to, again, 
Find out about the NMRA online. Uh, both PNR and NMRA have an excellent website where you can get information about joining and participating in this and other activities like our, our uh, uh, clinics that are held all over the region. So thank you for joining us today and great wish you great modeling.